What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It is a lovely day outside. I mean, it's still a tiny bit chilly, but it is sunny and we are in the UK. So what can you expect? Got my brew this morning. Mm. It is gonna be a banger. And today I'm gonna make a little video about how to make one of the coolest GoPro mounts of all time. I mean, it's a difficult one to ride with, but it is a very sick shot when you get the shots. What you're gonna need to make this sick mount is a spare helmet, one that you don't mind ruining. This is gonna be my media helmet going forward, and we're gonna develop this over the next few videos into the ultimate media mod hat, so make sure you stay tuned on my channel if you've got any questions about how we do this or any questions about any of the videos, make sure you comment below, get involved, and uh, subscribe to my channel, because there's more shreds every week. Um, anyway, you're gonna need a helmet, preferably a freshie. You're gonna need a carbon pole, or a pole of any kind, ideally carbon. The lightest pole you can get, the better. This is a hollow carbon tube, as you can see. Um, thank you, Dougie Newell. Dougie Newell got me this. He also helped me make the ultimate 3D follow cam shot, which you can check in this video right here as well. You're gonna need one of these spinny mounts. It's like a flat mount that has a rotating bearing in it. I mean, you can see I've used this before, this isn't a new one, but I would recommend one with an open bearing ring so that, you know, if you use it on the beach in the sand, it's easy to wash out and clean, but you're gonna need to keep this nice and clean and wash it if you're using it in the sea. Another sip of your coffee. And you're also gonna need a weight, a counterweight. Uh, I've just got a solid lump of steel here, by the looks of it. And then you're also gonna need a camera to mount. Um, I would suggest the GoPro 11 Mini Black because it's the smallest camera that they do, it's the lightest camera that they do, it's the most powerful camera that they do, and it's perfect for this sort of unique mounting opportunity. First step on this build is to take the helmet of your choice, make sure it's a tight fitting helmet because you don't want it loose on your head. You want to make sure it's a nice snug fit so that when you're riding, it's not going to move around and you can like control it with your head. Then you want to take your swivel fitting and you want to mount it to the exact top of the helmet. This helmet's perfect, it's got a hole in the top which marking the apex of the lid. I'm gonna use these tiny screws. You wanna make sure that they're small enough that when they screw into the helmet, they're not gonna go all the way through the padding and hit you in the top of the head, because otherwise it's gonna be real uncomfortable for you. It's definitely better to use a helmet that you don't mind destroying. You don't really want this to fall off in the water because you will lose your GoPro. There we have it. Make sure you check the inside so that the screws aren't poking through. But there we have the top mounted swivel attached to the helmet. Next step is to drill a hole in what would be the pivot point of your pole. This pole is roughly I'd say a meter and a half long. It's not really an exact science, but you want it long enough so that the shot gets enough view in to 
like be a really complete shot. You don't want it too short, otherwise it's just gonna be a shot of your face and upper body going around your head. So you wanna make sure it's long enough for the settings that you're gonna use on your GoPro. I've gone with a meter and a half, which I think it's gonna give me the most, most versatility. It might make it hard to ride in conjunction with the lines of my kite. However, I think it's worth the risk. I'm gonna put the pivot point slightly off center so that the camera can go on the longer section and the weight can go on the shorter section and that gives your camera slightly more range. Oh, here's one I made earlier. It's drilled, we've got the hole in the center right here. I mean, when I say in the center, it's in the center of the pole that way. It's actually off center that way so that the pivot point is not in the middle, so you can have the weight on this end and the camera on this end. You wanna bring your helmet in with your pre-made swivel already attached. Get a little bolt, slide the bolt through the swivel, through the center of the pole. Actually, I'm using a titanium nut here. Again, thanks to Dougie Newell for the correct gear. Just do that up so that it's not gonna come off in the water. You don't want it too tight because it will stop the mo motion of the tilt of the camera, but you don't want it too loose uh, so that it's got wobble in it, so that you can see here, she's a goer. I'm gonna use the helmet mount to do this because it offers a bit of adjustment in terms of the angle of the camera because it's on a ball joint to get the GoPro helmet mount for this because it really like gives you a little bit of uh, adjustability on the camera angle whilst you're riding and whilst you're using this thing. You see what I mean here? The helmet mount, the helmet mount has got the ball joint on top of it and the ball joint allows you to really adjust the camera on every axis. You can spin it, you can tilt it. So, you know, for the purposes of the spinny head cam, this ball joint uh, really makes a difference because you can really adjust every angle uh, that the camera's facing. You wanna make sure you attach the camera first so that you can get the counterweight in the correct position. That's probably the most important thing about this, is making sure that you get the counterweight correct so that it offsets the weight of the camera depending on the length of the pole. The reason I'm using electrical tape rather than a uh, GoPro sticky is because the Go you know, we're mounting this to essentially a small round pole. There we go, the GoPro is attached. You've got to get creative with things like this. So we have GoPro on head cam. As you can see, it is now completely off weight and unbalanced. This is when you bring in your counterweight. Mm. And just don't, don't drop it on your toe because that would really hurt. Testa, ooh, look at that. She's ready. I think we're in. I think. That is what you call well balanced. Okay, we have now got ourselves the spinny head cam and we are ready for a shreddy today. What it's for and the shots you're gonna get with it are mental. Okay, I have relocated to the beach. It's looking perfect for a shred right now. I'm gonna take out my 14 and I'm gonna put the GoPro Mini through its paces.